In this tutorial, I'll show you how to execute a JavaScript file using Node.js. It's pretty simple, but I just want to cover it so that it sets the stage for what's coming next. So in order to run a file uh, using Node, we just have to supply the file name to the Node program, right? So let me create a JavaScript file here. So I'm going to create a, I'm in the code directory. You can use any arbitrary directory you want. And I'm going to create a JavaScript file called, uh, um, let's say, first dot js, all right? You can use any editor you want. And in here, I'm going to do console.log off. You guessed it. Hello world. And then uh, I'm going to save this. And now I have a file called first.js, right? So the way to execute this is to basically give that file to node. I'm going to say run node. If I just did enter, I'm going to go to the ripple, right? Which is not what I want. I want to execute something that's written in a file. So I'm going to do first.js node and the file name. And it actually executes it. Okay? It's as simple as that. You can have any kind of uh, commands over here. Let's say I add uh, var a equals 10, var b equals a times 3, and then console.log b is. Right? This is simple JavaScript. I'm adding, I'm declaring a variable a, which is 10. I'm assigning a times 3 to b. So it should print the output b is 30. It should print hello world, and then it should print b is 30. All right, so I'm going to run this again, and then I get that output. Okay, pretty simple, but this is how you execute a file using Node.js. Now, what if you want to execute multiple files using Node.js? Well, we'll tackle that a bit later, but for now, this is how you do it. Uh, for the rest of this course, I'm going to use an editor called Visual Studio Code to edit it and not VI. Um, I'm going to go to the website, which is code.visualstudio.com. And here you get a download for your operating system. All right, you should click and download it and then have a, a typical installer. And that's going to let you uh, write code, and we're going to be using that for the rest of this course. All right, here is my editor, and I'm going to open that code directory. And uh, here is my JavaScript file, and I can use the control and the tilde to open the terminal over here, right? So Visual Studio Code comes with a, with a terminal built in. So I can do the same thing here node for a start JS and I'm going to execute it. So this is the way in which we're going to be executing code for the rest of this course. I just showed you the first way so that you, this is not doesn't have to be the only way you can use any editor you want. You can use any terminal you want. But this is something that I'm going to be using because I can show you both the code and the terminal in one window. It's handy, but you pick whatever you like.